Sometimes we want to take the backing off a book. Um, this is an old back, I'm just going to repair it, to take it off. It's a bit of mull with a lot of glue. Make sure when you get it into the press that it's level. You don't want it to be skew in any way. So I'm just lowering it into the line press and easing it down. So it's just held and we just make sure that it is completely level. Now I'm going to take some paste and I'm going to put a thick layer, and I mean thick, I mean about half an inch, something like that. If you put it on too thinly, all it does is activate the is activate the glue and it will simply mean you will glue the back even more firmly. The point about the paste is that it is damp, so it allows moisture to penetrate the back but without going too far, you couldn't just wet the back, it would cause damage to the paper. Because if you leave this on for too long, the dampness will go through to the spine and then it will cause staining on the pages, which you don't want. So it's a thick layer of paste all the way along. So when all your paste is on, it'll look like that. So you've got a nice thick layer along the whole book and we just leave it now for about an hour. If the backing doesn't come off easily then just leave it a little bit longer. You don't want to leave it too long partly because of the um, problem of going the moisture going through which of course you want to avoid but also you don't want it drying out and solidifying. So we'll just leave that. Then after it's had a few hours we can see how it looks. So we take off the rest of the paste. Some of that can be reused, it's quite usable, so perhaps the same thing. And then we can remove the glue from the back of the book. It should come off quite easily. So we'll take the rest of all that off. You can see the bits of mull, then we can pull that away. That's the back and that's the rest of the spine paper and then we can just take off what's left of the mull and the glue and it should come away quite easily. You want to get as much as you can off because when you put the new glue on it's got to be able to get at the paper otherwise the old glue will stop it and it will also um, reactivate itself if you're not careful causing various lifting problems. So that is most of the glue out of the way. and try to get rid of all the bits of mull that are sticking over the edge. So there is the spine, reasonably clean. I think we've got most of the bits off. And then we can decide whether we are going to do the complete re-sewing, which I think probably isn't necessary. The sewing looks fairly sound. You can see that it's all joined together, it's pretty solid. So we can probably do what's called secondary sewing or um, part sewing, which is putting some tapes across and stitching some of the sections, but not all of them. Sometimes you need to trim the end papers. These are slightly large, and so I'm going to turn it round so that you can see what I'm doing. You want to be able to get at them more quite easily and you want a thin, firm scalpel and you just cut along the ruler which I put under here till you get to the end. And if it doesn't work, you do another one. So you can lift those away. And the ruler is underneath the text block and just above the end paper. And to do the next side, place the ruler under the text block again. Make sure it's level. And once more, take the scalpel firmly down. You may need to move your hands a little bit 
a long book. And you do that all the way around. And that will give you quite a nice neat edge. Sometimes when you get to the end, you've cut along as far as you can. Because the end paper is tipped in place, you may not have got right to the end. So you can just trim the ends off with a pair of scissors, just like that. And the same at the other end. Just um, trim them off so that they're level. <laughs> 